What's going on YouTube? This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World and today we're going to be talking about how to spray paint the back of your aquarium. I've got three aquariums lined up, kind of like they do on the food channels out there. I'm in my pajamas today. I got a four day weekend. I'm taking every little bit of advantage of it. I'm enjoying this shit. So you're going to see me in my pajamas today, so you're going to live with it. Anyways, um, I got three aquariums here, 10 gallon tanks. What I'm going to do with this, we're going to talk about in the future. But let's talk, stick to the point of the video. Because a lot of those people just click to this video to see the point. They don't want to hear what's going on with my tank. They just want to know how to do this. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Check it out. But let's get to the point. All right. Painting your tank out or your back of your aquarium. Painting your back of your aquarium is so much better than getting a backdrop. A backdrop isn't vibrant. It's, it's I mean, you can get that stuff. You, you roll on the back of the tank and you roll it on the background and you stick it on there and it sticks firmly and that works too and I forgot the name of that but nothing beats painting a tank background because um it just it's it's so much more it's it's a solid color the only thing is better in my opinion than a painted background is a 3d background I don't like those backgrounds in the pet stores where you see a, a picture of a tank we're not trying to make a picture of a tank we're trying to make a little piece of art ourself, not added on to the background. So, my personal opinion, saltwater blue, freshwater black. Alright guys, there's two tools you need to get. Now, for the type of paint you get, it can be widely debated. Um, it really doesn't matter as long as it's outside the glass. Now, I like Cryolon Fusion, and a lot of people on YouTube, DIY people, are going to agree with me, because this stuff goes on pretty much anything. And it's, I mean... It's uh, like a dollar higher, but you get what you pay for. It's really good stuff. Um, it sticks to anything, really. And the Krylon Fusion it has to be fusion. Krylon Fusion, if you accidentally get in your tank, you don't have to worry about it. I experimented. I shouldn't tell YouTube this, but like a year or two ago, I experimented. I actually spray painted the inside of a 10-gallon tank to see if it would hold up under water. And uh, over time, it did flake a little bit, but the fish were perfectly fine. So the first thing we're going to do, and you can use roll-on paint or paintbrush, with some kind of, you know, latex paint or something, as long as it's outside the tank. The first thing we're going to do, and before you guys say your tanks are dirty, why are you painting them when they're dirty? Inside is dirty. I clean the outside perfectly crystal clear. But the inside is clean. The outside is atrocious. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mask off the sections that we want to paint. And what I'm doing is I'm protecting the panel that I want to look at them. Now, in my case, I only want to see out the front. I don't, I don't want to see the sides. I want the sides to be black. So if you want your sides to be seen, you would also tape off the edges of the sides like so. That way, no paint would get on them. I like to corner it up a little bit. Frog tape is really good, but uh, for the price of what I'm doing, I didn't feel like buying frog tape. So I just got the cheapest stuff available because, well, personally... I didn't feel like buying the uh, frog paint, but that's some really good stuff right there. Like I said, you get what you pay for with the Krylon Fusion, you get what you pay for with the frog tape. The frog tape's really good. So, once I get my sides mask off, and you can use newspaper or whatever you might, but this is the easiest way in my opinion, but uh, once you get them masked off securely on, you know, if you want to only have the front view bolt, you're doing what I'm doing. If you want the front sides, you're going to mask off the sides too and just paint the back. But once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and take our Krylon Fusion spray paint. And when you're painting, you, you want to go off the edge of the tank. You don't want to just stop at the edge and go back because you're going to get streaks. So what you're going to want to do is start before you hit the glass and wave back and forth. Now it's not going to be solid black at first. You have to build up the coat. Just make sure it's steady straight lines back and forth before the tank glass and after the tank glass. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing for the back and sides. You guys see how I'm going past the edge of the tank? Yes, I am wasting paint, but for spray paint, this is the proper way to do it. Use a roller, uh, I guess it really doesn't matter. Now I'm going to do the back. All right. 
Alright guys, now we're going to move into our second coat. After you let the stuff dry, uh, however long it takes to paint to dry, 15, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, a day or two, however long it takes after your first, co first coat dries, you want to do the same thing. And what this is going to do, it's going to give you a solid black coat. Instead of, when you put your aquarium light on here, if you don't have a solid coat, you'll find out very quickly, and I hope you didn't already fill it up, because you're going to get a little angry. Sorry about that, guys, but the camera died on me. Um, but like I was saying, I hope you didn't fill it up all the way with water, because what you're going to find out is that you have little light spots in the paint, and it won't be a solid color. So, that's pretty much all it is, guys. Do your first, second, third coat, however many coats you need to make your, uh, your backdrop a solid color. I don't care what color you make it. Blue, black, purple, pink, green, orange, white, invisible. I don't care. <laughs> but it's your aquarium. Have fun with it, guys. Take it as a learning experience. And the more you get into DIY, the more you're going to get hooked. Comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Later.